Well, I was riding shotgun with my hair undone in the front seat of his car. There's an odd sky Got around the room. one wheel on the steering wheel, <laughs> the other on my heart. And I could see him and I was just, I gave it a... Yeah. Who would you do if you could? Who would I do? No one's done you. Okay. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Let's move on. Add oh, this is getting weird. It is. It always gets weird with Why us, would though. it not? Why would it yeah. not be weird? God, we are, uh, we're, there you go. There's the hand on the knee. Yeah. Oh, God. Still. Oh, sure. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is, are we good? Are we happy? Mud sack three, four. Yeah. Give it five, four, three, two. Hello everybody and welcome back to the P1 YouTube channel and we are here today with Daniel Ricardo and Enchante Billboard. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing fan Q and A. Yes, your questions have been submitted for this man and I cannot wait to share them with you. Are you ready? Daniel? I am ready. Yeah? You look beautiful. Oh, stop it. Right, here we go then. The first question is from Rosberg Core. Favorite Taylor Swift song? Our song. The first song I heard of hers, I think it was like, it was a long time ago. I was still in school. With how quickly you answered that, are you a Swifty? Well, so I remember the night I heard it, I was on my way to a nightclub. So I just started clubbing, no, so I must've been finished school. It must've been like 2008. And a buddy played it. And it was kind of like meant to be just a bit of fun because we're going to a nightclub and it's not normally the music you listen to going to a no. nightclub when you're maybe 18 years old. But I remember I was like, oh, cool. Sing it for me. Well, I was riding shotgun with my hair undone in the front seat of his car. There's an odd sky around one the room. Hand wheel on the steering wheel, <laughs> the other on my heart. I can't Amazing. <laughs> See, my Taylor Swift one is Love Story. That's the first oh, one I heard. One. And I was like, that's a banger. It's a good one. Anyway, Swifty, Daniel Ricardo. There Keep we go. Come on, Asha. <laughs> Next question from at Ultrasoft. Are you excited about the Vegas race at last? Yeah. Coming to existence, I think it was 2017. I asked for it. So you're we the reason. It. You're the reason. I mean, look, I don't want to claim everything, but I'll claim <laughs> like 98% of it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you actually think the track's going to be any good? I think it will be because probably just where it is. You know, and I think that'll just knowing where we are and seeing all the like the bright lights will if there is a corner that maybe in a big open circuit doesn't feel that good it'll probably feel a little bit better in vegas how difficult was it getting back into an f1 car after eight months immediately it felt very foreign and difficult because little quick um explanation normally after christmas so just in a normal season your season ends say november and you get back in a car in february for testing so even just three months off Always, always feels like when you get back into a car at the start of the season, like, oh, oh, it's always a bit like weird. So eight months felt like a long time. So I remember like my first lap, I was a little bit like, oh, this is, this is really strange. And it feels really fast. <laughs> <laughs> but then on like probably the third lap, it all felt really familiar again. So it quickly goes from that to that. So what was going through your brain on that first lap? Oh, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore after your summer camp, though. Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Lifting some Big, serious weights off that. Big neck, Rick is that. <laughs> yes. Next question at Don underscore aviation. Have you Pierre Gasly? Pierre Gasly, yeah. I have. Have you? Yeah. yeah. I've done it more than once, but in Montreal. So I wasn't on the grid yet, but it was one of the races I was attending for Red Bull. Montreal, hit, they were filming his arrival at the track, and I could see him, and I was just, I gave it a. Yeah, Gasly! Is that your favorite one? Nico Hulkenberg's yeah, so good. It is, it's Nico <laughs> I like the <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I do like that one. Gasly's it's so more good. of like a, an uplifting one, mm. where the, the Hulkenberg one is just more, it's, like it's more of a pure. Yeah, it's a, yeah. What would you, who would you do if you could? Who would I do? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whose name would you pronounce in a funny I or don't know. interesting way? Um, well, no one's done you, so I feel like that someone on the grid should do a strange pronunciation of, of your of your name. 
I think that, that. Do you want to give it a go? No. Okay. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Let's move on. At Kesco Baby, out of all the drivers on the grid, who would you trust most with a secret? None of them. Mm. I'd probably trust them as far as I could throw them. <laughs> I will. I, the first name that came to mind was Vettel. Okay. He's no longer on the grid, but that is someone, if you asked me that question last year, he's probably the first guy I would have said. Yeah. Um, you've got to go with someone older, someone who's just a little bit more mature. Mm. Alonso, but... Okay, so now Alonso. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> we'll go with Vettel. We'll pretend we're in last yeah, year. Yeah, it's 2022. <laughs> uh, Benus F1 comes in with, how were you told that you would be getting the Alpha Tauri seat? I'd done a few laps in the Red Bull test. And then it was then that basically Christian was giving me a heads up that that was probably going to happen. And then, uh, yeah, so I kind of got a pretty good idea from him. And so then, you got a uh, nudge. From Did you get a phone call like when you're in the bath or something? Yeah, Daniel, you're in. Yeah, when I was, when I was in an ice bath trying to recover. <laughs> No, I, I felt I felt the way the test was going. I was like, okay, I think I think this is gonna happen now. You just, just drive around like August. I still got this. Yeah, I got it. My neck hurt, but everything else don't really do. Hit the apex, but wow, my neck's over here. <laughs> Seriously, the first time I did turn one, yeah, because it's flat. At least on like lower fuel. Yeah, it was obviously I knew like I was prepared for it, or trying to prepare for it, but it's like you just can't. Eight months from not doing anything like that. That was literally like, yeah, gave me a pride. I thought, oh, that. Would you say being in the car is the only way you can truly train that? Yeah. Yeah. You can then, I think once you've got a little bit of that strength, you can definitely maintain it through like these neck harnesses and things yeah. that we use. So now that's what I'm doing a lot to, let's say, hold kind of that strength. Yeah, I can see that. But this is build it up. Thank you. It's a build can you like flex your neck? Is that a thing? Like, Probably. You... What do you want me to do? Like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you flex a neck. <laughs> you might just have like biceps like within your neck or something. That wow. probably looks really weird. I don't can hear. Wow. My God. That could lift the truck. I don't know if that could lift the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting weird. It is. It always gets weird. With Why us, would it though? not? Why would it yeah. not be weird? God, we are. Uh, we're... There you go. There's the hand on the knee. Oh, God. Stop it, this is gonna get Peggy 18. Peggy 18. Right, next question. Ben, uh, no, not Ben F1. Next question, at Enedge Rutar. Thoughts on the medium? No, that's not the question. <laughs> at Enedge Rutar, thoughts on, it's the knee touch, it's oh, killed me. Thoughts on the medium, what? <laughs> in in Surrey and Budapest. Thoughts on the hard, medium, soft qualifying format used in Hungary from a driver's perspective. I hadn't been in it enough to have a real opinion. Like, oh, I hated that. It was just kind of fun for me to be back. So I guess for everyone else, it would be weird pushing on the hard tire in qualifying. Whereas for you, maybe going into it without that knowledge from that year, you were just like, I'll just roll with it. It was really easy for me. Yeah. You stuck it on pole. You know I don't know. Mean? I think people liked it. I think people liked it. Um, it was good from a fan perspective. Yeah. How about Zhou Guan Yu just going fastest? Yeah, yeah that, that was that. We were he like, was oh. on. Yeah. He was on. Was on. And then forgot to break. Yeah, he did. Uh, but he was good in qualifying. Yeah. Um, at Soma VRG, is the weight of being the most awesome driver on the grid hard on your shoulders? Oh. This is my burner account. I was about to say, <laughs> this question's 100% from you. Yeah, what you said. Um, I don't know how to add that. I thank you for the compliment. Thank you. No, I, I'll try to answer something seriously. I just try to, Oh, that, now that doesn't sound silly. I was about to say, I try to keep it real. But I just try to like... You do keep it real fun. Yeah, but like yeah. You're humble, yeah. So if people think that's awesome, then that's cool. Because I think it encourages people to be their authentic self. God, that got deep. Yeah. So thank Joe and Grace for making my authentic self cool as a cat. To my current, by the way. Shout out to Dunnery's parents. Love it. At No Context F1M, have you ever been sick from doing a shoey? So I did get sick after China, my win in China in 2018, but I felt I was already getting quite run down. Like, so like I remember being sick that following week with like a cold and a flu and stuff. 
wasn't from the shoey i refuse to believe it was so i need to tell you a very quick story so when we launched p1 uh we launched on twitch as well so we do our watch alongs for the races and whatever and mm -hmm. we we essentially for every thousand paying subscribers we agreed to do a shoey we got to fifteen thousand subscribers you don't people uh yes and Oh my God, by the end, I'm not kidding. Wait, you didn't do 15 shoeys at the same time, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 over a period yeah, over, of every, yeah, a every few time weeks or whatever. Do a yeah. thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And obviously didn't clean my shoe out well enough to think, oh, Matt, maybe there's mold growing in there. And I've gone... You weren't using the same shoe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I, I, I seen you do it. You were my idol. And... Well... Yeah, until I felt the wrath oh. of a shoey. You really get that. Oh, very. I was very ill for really? like four days. But now you've built that immunity. Yeah. So you're good now. Yeah. yeah. Iron stomach. 30 shoeys next time. Hell Easy. Yeah. 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 So I thought I'd tell you that. Look different. No, I'm just... <laughs> I feel like the adrenaline of a, of a win or a podium eliminates all the. Your immune system. Bacterial. Just... Yeah. But yeah, if I'm just like sitting on my couch or in a seat. Yeah. To pull in a shoey, yeah, I'll totally feel pretty bad. Okay, so as win well. Grand Prix is the way to. Yeah. Delete that. Okay, yeah, perfect. And um, quite proud of you, though. <laughs> Thank you. And finally, the final question is: If you could change one rule in F1, what would it be and why? I feel like my answer changes over the years with this because just keep it relevant. Because part of me is like, yeah, you know, you'd make, like, try to make the cars all even and equal and that's that. But as a driver, it's cool because yeah, it's an even playing field. But maybe there's not that, that really a heightened ambition to really want to be somewhere or like so part of me wants that but i also think part of f1 is to have you know a little bit of a ranking system so to speak one thing i i, I preferred i preferred like the 2014 2016 that window of cars that were shorter and narrower i preferred those cars for overtaking and following another car i think that was a bit easier even if these cars are built to follow better so I would change the scale of the cars and make it teamer again. I like that. Yep. Better racing. Let's do that. Well, there you go. Thank you, everybody, for your questions. Thank you to Mr. Danny oh, Ricciardo. Oh, it feels nice, doesn't it? It feels good. That's what it feels like. Brain frazzle. You know what I mean? Your hands are really warm. Yeah. Well, this is a very warm jumper. Oh. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you soon. See you soon, everyone. Subscribe to P1 down the bow. Come on. Oh, subscribe to P. Wait, which way is it P? Uh, that way? Enchanté a bit of Or if we're metal fans, we do that one. <laughs> See ya.